What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to be looking at a GM programming procedure that covers many of the new GM models, 2015 to 2016 and newer. So a couple things we need to go over before we get into it. First, this procedure is going to be for push button start vehicles. If your vehicle has a separate remote and key, and I'll put a picture of one here on the screen, then this procedure will not work. The second thing is, this is a timed procedure. You need to allow yourself about 30 to 40 minutes. There's about 10 minutes in between some of the steps. So again, allow yourself about 30 to 40 minutes. The next thing is, this procedure is gonna be for if you've lost all the keys for your vehicle, if you have no remaining. So in that case, once you have no remaining and you go buy yourself a new smart key, and yours may look a little different than this, you need to get the key cut the emergency key in the bottom. This will be the only part of the procedure that you cannot do yourself. So in order to start the vehicle, in order to start the procedure rather, we need to have our smart key unprogrammed with the key cut. So once we get to that point, let's go ahead and jump into it. So now we're looking at the driver's door. Some vehicles may have an exposed key cylinder where you can actually see the slot where the key will go right in. But on some vehicles, you're gonna have the key cylinder cap such as this. So we need to remove that. How we're gonna do that is, if you look under here and you see this slot right there, we're gonna take the emergency key that again's already been cut and you're just gonna lift the door handle slightly, put that key up in the slot and just wiggle it. Yours may come off there a little harder if it's never been off. So once we have that off, now we have our key cylinder exposed. So now that we've got the lock cylinder cap removed, we can go ahead and move forward with the rest of the procedure. So as I was saying earlier, this is a timed procedure. Um, we're gonna need 10 minutes for this first step. So get yourself something to time yourself with. I'm gonna use a phone here. Just have that handy. I'm gonna open the door so it's a little easier to get in and out. We're gonna take our cut key, put it in the door lock cylinder, and we're gonna be turning it to the left five times. After that fifth time, we're gonna see a message on the dash and that's when we're gonna start our timer. One, two, three, four, five. Take a look at the dash. You see the message there, remote learning pending, please wait. And as you can see, I've started my timer. It takes 10 minutes for this step, so I'll check back in when we get close to that 10 minutes. So now we've hit our 10 minute mark. If your dash isn't lit up, you can go ahead and close, open the door. Now you're gonna see the message here. Press engine start button to learn. So we're gonna go ahead and press the start button. And now we need to reset our timer for another 10 minutes. And we'll check back in when we get close to time. So now we hit, we've hit our 10 minute mark for the second time and we're gonna repeat the previous step exactly. I'm gonna close and open this door just to get the light on the dash. And you'll see the message on there again. So we'll go ahead and press the start button. And then we're going to reset our timer. And we'll see you in 10 minutes. So now we've reached our third and final 10 minute mark. So we're gonna go ahead and close and open the door just to light up the dash. And we're gonna go ahead and press the stop start button. Now you may or not be able to see there, it says ready for remote one. So we're gonna take our transmitter and we're gonna put it in the center console. And if you can see here, there's a pocket for it right there that may look a little different depending on your vehicle. So we wanna put the transmitter in that pocket with the buttons facing the rear. So we have that in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and press the stop start button again. Now we're gonna remove the transmitter from the pocket and press either the lock or unlock button. And now we're gonna hold down the start button for 12 seconds to exit programming mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 
So now let's test the remote. That's a working remote. So we just finished up with the procedure. There was quite a few steps there. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. If you could take a minute to like the video and subscribe, helps us out, helps the channel out, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.